Howdy doody. It's Terry Bush here, standing in front of a map. It's only flat, so you can take it all in at a glance, because, you know, anyone that believed it were really flat probably got delivered with the bloody milk this morning, didn't they? So, hi, right, geopolitics. I'm going to start with the UK. Well, England, because, yeah, so, there we are. I'm going to start with the best one. And not because it's full of white people, because it's full of better people. Right, so, the UK. We used to lead the world in colonial violence, kicking shit out of brown people, uh, stealing land and uh, spreading Bible. But we did give the world William Shakespeare, so that cancelled all that out, didn't it? Tell you who didn't give the world William Shakespeare, USA. Let's travel across the pond to the USA. There they are, home of the school shooting. Uh, yeah, the USA kind of leads the world now in the giant game of Monopoly slash Risk that we play in geopolitics. They're very proud of uniting the world in hatred for them. And uh, if you look, that's the largest expanse of stolen land watered by the blood of indigenous people in the world. Aye, so I'm going to move over this side and uh, now we're going to travel over to Middle East. What's he going to say about that? Middle East, land of squabbling, blood feuds, vendettas, fast-running Arabian horses and falconry. Ah, right, so uh, ah, the Middle East produces 80% of the world's oil and 100% of the unwinnable prolonged wars that we send our lads over to fight and they come back in bags or in bits. Aye, right, um, they've got a strict code of conduct out there, a very scimitar-based justice system where... If you play silly buggers out there, you lose a hand or get a foot removed, perhaps a head, you know, they don't muck about over there. Aye, so, moving on, China, there we are then, China, home of the Chinamen and the Chinaman woman. Aye, they're the world leaders in pollution, they're the best at it and they're the best at making shonky toys that choke babies at Christmas, so be careful with the crackers. Um, aye. China famously had a one-child-only policy, which ain't going far enough in my book. Uh, we should have a zero-child policy everywhere and a zero-talking-about-your-child policy because no one's bloody interested. Plus, you don't tend to review a book on its merits until you've finished it, do you? You don't review it after one chapter. So, for parents out there, don't start saying they're the best thing you've ever done and that they're brilliant because wait till they're about 40. See if they haven't killed anyone, raped anyone, become a wife beater or a serial killer, then you can start polishing your laurels, then you can get trophies in cabinet, can't you? Eh? Australia. A wild land where the seas, the skies and the savannas are full of monsters that can kill you or trample you to death, perhaps poison you. Eh? Aye. And uh, the streets in Australia are full of English gap year students, or twats as I call them, thinking they've found the key to wisdom. So... And that's all we need to know for today, isn't it? It's all the time I've got. I want to go for a walk in a minute and uh, also catch up on some of my programmes. I uh, was going to do Africa, but I ain't got time. And uh, I think they've had enough attention and money thrown at them already, ain't they? Which is probably what Thatcher said in the 80s about it and all. Oh.